Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a quick look at this Racer Star motor. It's the 2205-2600 kV motor. Okay, so I got the motor out of the box. It just comes in a pretty boring plain box with some plastic bags. You get the motor and you get some uh, hex screws and you get your uh, nylon lock nut here and uh, uh, I, I bought this in a pack of four and that's kind of one of the reasons why I got it because it was it was so inexpensive it was like $28 for four motors so I was like wow how good can these motors actually be so I wanted to check them out and uh, you know show the show you guys what th these motors are all about so this is the 2600 kV version. So just turning the motor, uh, just they feel pretty smooth. Uh, no, no noise or grinding. If I pull on the bell here, there's no, absolutely no give at all. It looks like they've manufactured this to pretty good tolerances. Uh, this anodized uh, red metal is pretty nice. Don't see any obvious defects or chips. I'm not really sure what kind of metal this is. Probably steel. Looks like the top part of the bell here and the shaft are all one piece. Can't see any uh, set screws or anything like that. And see here. From the side, they got these uh, cool uh, these holes here for ventilation. So it looks like from the top. Not sure how effective that cooling is going to be. So look at the uh, bottom. Looks like the uh, shaft is set in below the level of the bottom there, so there's nothing protruding. You got a C-clip there with a bushing underneath and. We're on top of the bearing. The windings look pretty decent. A little hard to see when the lighting lighting in there. It's kind of dark. But it doesn't look doesn't look bad. The uh, motor wires are silicon coated, not plastic, so uh, pretty good quality there. Okay, let's see how this looks next to the sort of the gold standard of the. 2205s right now, which is the Emax 2205 2600 kV motor. This is what they look like from the top. And this is what it looks like from the side. Looks like the Racer Star motor is a little bit taller, just slightly. Shafts. The Emax shaft is longer. I'll have to measure that. I'm going to see exactly how, how much more that, how much longer that is. So look at the, at the bottom, you can see the Emax uh, motor shaft protrudes a tiny bit. And here's what it looks like from the bottom. Fairly Similar. The motor shaft on the Emax is so the motor shaft on the Emax is 15 millimeters, and the Racer Star is it's about 14 millimeters. So one millimeter less. So that will make a little bit of difference in terms of uh, how big of a hub that your propeller can be. I know some of the dowel props have really huge hubs and so they're very tall so the, little might, the shorter shaft might prevent you from uh, getting enough threads on the lock nut. Something to consider. Let's take a look at some of the measurements here. Bell and this one's 27.9. And 
overall height of the motor overall height of the motor 17.3 The Emax is 28.2 and 16.6. The weight of the Racer Star comes in at 27 grams. And the Emax weighs 29 grams, so two, two more grams. Okay, so that was a quick look at the Racer Star 2205 2600 kV motor. Uh, be on the lookout for a future video with this motor in a quad. I'm probably going to put it in that uh, QAVX clone with uh, these uh, new uh, 20 amp Racer Star BL Hell AS uh, ESDs that I'm getting, the version 2s. So that should uh, be a pretty good test platform for the performance of these motors on a nice, nice big 5 inch copter. Uh, I'm not sure when that video will be coming out because um, I haven't gotten those ESDs yet. So. Uh, so stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, and that video with this motor should be coming out in the next few weeks, hopefully sooner. Anyway guys, hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this motor in the comments, and um, I'll try and address that in the next video that, that this shows up in, uh, whatever the questions are. So do read all the comments, and just let me know what they are, and I will try and address them in the next video. Till then guys, I'll talk to you later.